10,000 years ago, when the weather was much cooler and wetter than today, lost vegetation was grazed by one-humped camels, mammoths, pony-sized horses, and large bison. As the shoreline sands dried out, that sand began to be blown into what is known as the St. Anthony Sandings. Today, recreationalists of all kinds like to come here to enjoy this unique area, which is the largest tract of sand dunes in Idaho. Endless OHV opportunities can be enjoyed on 15 continuous miles of open sand, covering approximately 175 miles. And if you are not an OHV enthusiast, you can enjoy other opportunities for camping, horseback riding, sledding, or antler hunting. Egen Lakes Access is located midway along a 15 mile stretch of sand dunes. To the east are small rolling hills suitable for beginning ATV users or youngsters. To the west are challenging hills rising over 400 feet and surrounding the dunes is another 10,000 acres of juniper and sagebrush. Together the two land types comprise the Sand Mountain Wilderness Study Area. The BLM is required by law to maintain the natural values of the area. This is the focus of management and the basis for rules and regulations. So what does this mean to motorized recreation? It means that there are rules in place to ensure safety and assist the preservation of the dunes. The St. Anthony Sand Dunes Wilderness Study Area is close to all fires except in the campground or in a small designated area along the Red Road. But inside that area, you're only allowed to burn clean fuel wood. That means no pallets, no furniture, no plastics or tires, anything that would be leaving a mess behind to, make, to ruin our dunes. When you consider the hot, dry summers and the cold, snowy winters, you might expect the dunes to be inhospitable for animals, but visitors usually find the dunes crisscrossed with tracks of small rodents, birds, and insects. The St. Anthony Sand Dunes is a critical range for large game animals and habitat for sharp tail and sage grouse. Because of this critical range, portions of the Sand Mountain Wilderness Study Area are closed off to all forms of human entry from January 1st to April 1st or May 1st of each year. In the coming months, the BLM is working on designating routes within the winter wildlife closure. Um, be a defensive driver. Always watch for the flag, make sure you have a flag. Although this area looks like a playground, many species thrive on this unique environment. Nowhere else is the sand evening primrose found and its relative, the pale evening primrose, grows in a special form that is known only to these dunes. In addition, the St. Anthony Sand Dunes boasts the largest and most viable population of rare tiger beetle that is known only in two other locations in the world. Each year, 300,000 people visit the sand dunes, so come and enjoy, play, ride, but remember, you are not the only ones here.